Hello. <laughs> How you going? <laughs> you started it. Yup. <laughs> so do you want to tell us about the best holiday you had ever? We woke up really stupid early in the morning to catch a bus that didn't end up leaving until 8 o'clock and kept going up to buses and being like, may sort? And they'd be like, no, sit there, wait there. I had decided not to eat. The road was going to be super windy and the day before I had chosen to have strawberry smoothie and that was a bad decision because it doesn't taste that good coming back up. Now you had kindly gone to 7-Eleven to pick up some plastic bags for me just in case I was going to vomit. That's what friends are for. We got on the van. There were these two cute little boys with beanies on. When they got off, they waved, bye Farang! Everybody laughed, because I don't think you're supposed to directly call someone a Farang. That's okay. Going on a bit of a roller coaster. Imagine being on a roller coaster for about four hours, non-stop. Windy corners, and they didn't take those corners gently. It was like you were on a roller coaster. It was like they wanted to give you the biggest amount of thrill possible. So that was nice, except was it great. wasn't. Yeah, Gab kept saying, oh, it's so beautiful. The view is so beautiful. Meanwhile, I was wrapped up like a pretzel, trying my hardest not to vomit. I did end up vomiting, but it was only a little bit because I hadn't had anything to eat. Um, and I felt like dying for four hours of the four hour trip. And I was wrapped in all kinds of weird positions trying to make the nausea stop. And every time I looked out the window, it made me want to die. Gab was like, that was the most scenic bus ride I've ever been on. It was so beautiful. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry that you had to vomit. On the bus ride, we also had some fun chickens that got on the bus duck, got on in, in a bag, some little chicks. There was all kinds of people getting on and off the bus. We got to ride it right to the end. What a, what a lucky break for us. I was a bit hungry, but not really hungry, but I figured I should probably eat something because I didn't have anything in my stomach and it was gonna be a long day. So we went in search of food. Gab's like, there's a pizza, oh, no, no, there's a burger place over there, there's a burger place over there. I was like, mm, there is no burger place over there. What is she talking about? And it turned out it was just advertising for something else. We caught some motorbikes to the border. We gave them an 1,000 baht note and they were like, oh, you're idiots, don't do that. But we did anyway. There was a man at the border that was helping us. We didn't realize he wasn't with the border people and he gave us a good deal he, he gave us lots of recommendations about where we should be. He, we decided to go to Pan. Pan. It was five hours drive. Mr. Be Beauty agreed to, um, to to get us a car and we got one very quickly. We thought, oh, we're getting, we're getting seats in this car, this is great. And then we turned a corner and more people wanted to go to Pan. I got to sit in the front because I was sick. Gab had to sit in the back. They pulled down the seat and there were four people in the back. Or just having a chat and asking Gab if she was married and getting quite offended when she wasn't. The, the driving was a little questionable. Well, I was in a prime position to watch us nearly collide head on into about 50 million cars. And then we stopped to eat and the food was delicious. I was the only one that was really hungry. Gab's like, oh, I'm not going to eat anything. And then all this food came out and she's like, oh, I guess I'll eat something. So they brought her a plate and we were like, oh, to the, to the cool kid, um, you should eat with us. We don't want all this food to go to waste. We didn't realise that they charged by the plate, not by the amount of food. We offered to pay for this girl's dinner, but we didn't get enough money exchanged. So we actually couldn't pay for her dinner. So we had to pay for it by herself and that was real bad and embarrassing. We were like, we'll get money out of an ATM and pay you back. So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. We arrived in the dark at in Pan. We went looking for an ATM and that poor driver, he was like, oh, you could sense he just wanted to go home. But then none of the ATMs worked. We didn't have any money. We didn't know what we were gonna do. So we had to go to a place and say, hey, we'll find an ATM in the morning. Don't worry, but can we stay at your place? and the driver dropped us off at this place. And this place it was like a death hole. It was disgusting. Mm. At one point I was in the bathroom and I stretched my arms above my head. Mistake, because then a bit of the roof, I touched the roof and then a bit of a roof came in on me. And it was all mold and 
disgusting stains everywhere and you, one of those places where you take a shower but you feel more dirty than when you started. Not okay. It wasn't okay. There were stains on the walls. Really questionable stains. It's one of those places you had to kind of block everything out of your mind and just kind of pretend that you weren't there. Otherwise you weren't going to get any sleep at all. And you weren't going to go to the toilet. I went to flush the toilet and the handle came off. And I went, oh, okay. So I'll flush that one. I was pretty close to falling into a coma so I could get my levels of health back. It was like that bit in the video game where your bar of health is like this much and it's in the red. And I remember thinking on the ride, don't forget your drink bottle, don't forget your drink bottle, don't forget your drink bottle, because my drink bottle leaks and so I can't put it in my bag. So of course I forgot my drink bottle and left it in the car, which is very upsetting, which meant that we couldn't sterilize water with our SteriPen. Yeah, I was pretty, pretty gutted about that one. So last night we thought, oh, it's all right. There's lots of ATMs in town. We'll be able to get money out. We tried one ATM, it was temporarily unavailable. We tried the second ATM and it wouldn't accept MasterCard or Visa, so the man sent me to the second bank, third bank. That bank wouldn't give me an option to withdraw money. We gave up, decided we'd stay in a hotel and they'd say they'd let us pay the next day. Today, we have been to one, two, three, four, five, about six more banks trying to either withdraw money or exchange it. And none of them will let us have any money. I'm really hungry. I want food. I'm trying to think of a worse day. It's not coming to me.